the combination of Luminar Neo and Photoshop is the ultimate photography bundle. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Luminar Neo as a plugin and how to use it with Photoshop. And off we go. The first thing we're going to look at is the installation of Luminar Neo into Photoshop as plugin. Now, in the normal circumstances, you should be able to see Luminar Neo in Photoshop automatically, as it will be added during the installation process. In fact, you can see it on a screen now. When you install Luminar Neo and you have a Photoshop already installed on your computer, the installation process recognizes that the Photoshop is there and install it automatically. If for some reason that didn't happen, then we have to do it from Luminar Neo. Now, once you open the application, you can navigate to the top left corner and click on the logo of Luminar Neo. Here there is a number of options and what we're looking for is install plugins option. So click on that and that will open this little window. Install Luminar Neo as a plugin. Now, as you can see, I have it already installed as plugin for Lightroom Classic, but we also want it for Adobe Photoshop. So to do that, we just need to click on this install here. It will give you the message that to finish the installation and launch Luminar Neo as a plugin in Photoshop, you do have to restart the Photoshop. So we're going to do that. Anyway, let's just click on OK. There is a chance that it will ask you for password. So just add it and then hit OK. In a few seconds, you will see the little check in front of the Adobe Photoshop and it should be installed. If for some reason it's not working, come back here, uninstall it and then install it again. Now from here, we can click on done and head to Photoshop where we're going to check. In Photoshop, we can head to the toolbar on the top of the screen where we're going to look for filters. Click on that and then navigate to the bottom where you see number of filters, including Skylum software. Once you hover over that, two options or at least one should open and that will be your Luminar Neo. As you can see, I also have an upper T, but the Luminar Neo is here and this is where we're going to use it from. So now we know how to install Luminar Neo as a plugin into the Photoshop. And the next we're going to look at the ways on how to use it. OK, so moving on, I am in Camera Raw where we starting with this raw file. Now, for this example and for this tutorial, it doesn't really matter what image we're working with as we're focusing on the process of working with the image here in Photoshop, moving it into Luminar Neo and then back. But let's say that we're going to work with this photo. It's a capture from Amsterdam. Again, I'm in Camera Raw where I'm going to quickly click on Auto just to basically develop it. And the only adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to adjust my highlights as we're going to do a little sky replacement. And it's easier when there is less details in the sky. So let's just bring it up, remove the blue. Um, let's leave it around zero. And once happy with it, I'm just going to click on open. So the first step, you have a raw file and you're developing it in your camera raw. If you have a JPEG or not developing the image, you are maybe already in the application, just like I am here. Now, what you would do now? Maybe some of the heavy lifting. So let's say that we just quickly going to remove these ducks here. So let's just zoom in, make the brush a little bit bigger and just brush over one and maybe brush over the other one. Or maybe this mess here as well. You can keep moving around if you would want. Let's say that we're going to remove this sign here. Let's see how good job it's going to do. Uh, it's kind of decent, but I'm sure you're getting the idea. So you can remove different things, different distractions. And once you're happy, it's time to move into Luminar Neo. Now, how to do that? Well, first thing we want to do is to create a copy of our background layer. How to do that? Well, we can select the layer and hit Command or Control J, or we can take it and drag it on the plus sign at the bottom. Now we have a new copy of the layer. We can rename it. So let's call it Luminar Neo Edit. And before we go, we want to turn this image into smart object. How to do that? Well, right click on the layer and then navigate into Convert to Smart Object. By doing that, we will be able to go back and forward from and into Luminar Neo in case we need any adjustments. Well, I will explain you in a moment. Anyway, we have the Luminar Neo edit layer selected and now we're going to navigate to the top of our toolbar here again, filter, 
Skylum Software and then Luminar Neo. It's going to take a moment and it will open the application for us. Now, when it comes to the plugin version of Luminar Neo, you can see that we're missing the library here, the catalog. But that's okay because we're working from Photoshop. So all we have access to are the presets and editing toolbar. Now, in the presets, of course, that you could speed up the process and apply some presets here. And by the way, before we move into the editing toolbar, we have a 50% off on our Luminar Neo presets, our essential presets, landscape presets, and travel presets. So if you want to grab a few presets for the upcoming photography season, follow the link in the description of this video. Now, continuing with our tutorial, from here, let's go into the editing toolbar, where the first thing we're going to do, as I mentioned earlier, is to replace the sky. By the way, just don't worry too much about the edit. It's just going to be a quick thing to transform the image. It's not supposed to be super realistic. I'm just going to rush through it. So to replace the sky into the landscape section, where I'm going to open the sky AI. In a sky AI, let's just open the skies here and select one of those. I can select the first one on the top, which will basically now scan the image and create a mask and add our sky. Generally, it takes a few seconds, depending on how complex the image is. As you can see, it's already there. So what we need to do is to click away, go into the sky orientation, adjust the horizon very quickly, just bring it down, and then maybe just quickly into scenery light, where we can increase the scenery light a little bit and adjust the real light saturation. Nothing crazy here, right? Okay, close the sky AI. Next thing we want to do is to just add a little bit of warmth. So we can do that in the landscape tool with a little bit of golden hour slider. Just like that. Great. So we have done this. After this, we maybe just want to add the sun here. Well, how can we do that? Two different ways. We can use the sunrise tool or we can use overlays. Well, let's jump in the sunrise tool. Quickly click on place sunset center. Take the little white dot, position it where we want our sun to be and then increase the amount. Now, this is a little bit crazy, but we can adjust it back. We can jump into the warmth, add a little bit of warmth to match it with the rest of the photo, close it, then open the sun setting, adjust the radius, keep an eye on the image. Let's see something like this and maybe something like this. So after this, close the sun rays tool. And if we want to enhance it, we can also jump into the plus sign here in the layers panel, select an overlay with a nice glow on it, adjust its size and then drag it over the new sun and just increase the opacity and change the blend mode from normal into the screen. You can make it bigger if you want to. You can go crazy, something like this, but it really is up to you. So let's say we go a little smaller, place it here, and once done, just hit enter, and that's it. So we are finished here in Luminar Neo, and all we need to do to return into Photoshop is to click on Apply. Now the application will process the edit and return into Photoshop with all the adjustments. In Photoshop, let's turn our attention back to layers where we have the layer called Luminar Neo Edit on the top, the smart object, and under we have the smart filters, including Luminar Neo. So as you can see, we have the edited version here. This way you can click on the little eye icon and see the before version. Pretty cool, right? So from here, you would continue the edit for example, what you could do, you could click on the little sign down here, select the color lookup, and in a section, we could add little LUT on the top to warm everything together. Depending what you like, maybe little fall colors. That usually works very well. Now, this is way too saturated. So what we're going to do, we're just going to very quickly adjust the opacity and bring it down until we like it. So I would say somewhere around maybe 20. If you think that maybe this part doesn't need the saturation, you can also adjust the mask and so on. So as you can see, the edit isn't perfect. We would need to do some additional masking and color corrections, but it's a great example on how to use Luminar Neo in combination with Photoshop. But there is one more thing I wanted to come back to. So let's say, looking at it, that you don't like the position of the overlay here and you want to adjust it. Well, nothing easier than just coming back to our layer with the Luminar Neo edit. And here we can double click on the Luminar Neo little icon here. Once we do that, the application will open again. And if we're going to go into the edits module, here we can select our overlay. 
and move it around or make it even bigger. What we can also do from here, we can select both of the layers, merge them together by right clicking on both of the layers and selecting merge layers. And with the layers merge, we can just quickly add two more adjustments. Let's jump into vignette where we're going to bring the vignette down nicely and adjust the center of the vignette over the sun. So we get a little bit more darker area here and then into the enhance AI where we can apply a little bit of accent AI just to balance everything together. Close the Enhance AI, again, click on Apply, which will one more time bring us back to the Photoshop, where we're going to be able to continue with our edit. Back in a Photoshop where we have all the adjustments, you can see that we have the vignette applied. We have a little bigger overlay. Our color lookup table is still applied and it is still a little bit too strong, so we can bring it down. And again, you would just continue from here. Maybe you would merge the layer or whatever you think. So anyway, this is how you use Luminar, Neo and Photoshop. But we do have over 300 other Luminar Neo tutorials. So if you're wondering how to use any of the tools in the application, or if you're stuck and trying to do something, then definitely give us a go, head to our YouTube channel and continue learning right now. There are some videos on your screen. Click on one of them and continue learning.